What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Yala. This episode is a. We're going to be talking about a lot of things today, lah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, this one of the episodes that every time before before we start, already, I'm already like in tears. Like, yeah, from laughing, uh, right? Crying, uh, crying, crying, but laughing, yeah. cries of laughter, like cry, yeah. cries, cries of joy, of, la, cries yeah. of joy, cries of joy. Because, uh, yeah, we it's a podcast with a guest, guys. A very and, you know, special guest. Yeah, and the guest, the guest we asked to come on board is one of you know a really talented individual. He's been in comedies, thrillers, audio dramas, and done almost anything you can imagine in the Singapore media scene. La. Unfortunately, he wasn't available, so we have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> no, I, thought, I, thought, I was, gonna say I was that. just waiting, you know. I was, I was like, oh, this is too good to be true. He's praising me, but mm, where is that? Where? Just where? where? It's coming, it's coming. I don't you know. either describe it yourself or definitely not me. <laughs> but yeah, we do have Noayab, and yeah. and whatever I said was in just jest because yeah. for real, Noayab has been I think the single most collaborative person we have ever worked with because he has appeared in a Is lot of the our productions. Cheapest? Uh, I will just skip past that, but yeah, he's appeared in a yeah. lot of our productions. No, I mean seriously, in the yeah, in you look in Singapore's box office history of the top ten top grossing movies, he's appeared I think in six of them. A boys to men one, a boys to men two, a boys to men three, a boys to men four, a boys to men five. Yeah, which will be out very very soon. And he's, Lion Man as well. Right? He's like the Will Smith of Singapore, like, right? Yeah, yeah. He's like no, he's in Sylvester Stallone, Rocky we'll not, one, two, we'll three, four, five, six. Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so Noah, yeah, welcome once again to your yes. man. Yeah. So uh, as what you guys said, uh-huh. that's absolutely true. Uh-huh. Um, if you hear my name outside, you will probably hear Ministry of Funny next to it. Also. Mm. That's, this is how much I've been working with you guys. Eh. Yeah, that's mm. true. Since uh, the correct, beginning. Correct. Since the beginning. Uh. Since yeah. we've been through shit together. Yeah, that was the first time we met was 2015, was it? Yeah, at uh, that, 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 that Maker yeah. Maker. Oh, right, okay. yeah. Right. I yeah. thought we could No, I can say it. Can <laughs> say it. Can. Maker. We, we did a video together. It was called Littering, littering Prank. I think. Right. Yeah, Littering right. Prank in Singapore. Yeah, right. Littering right. Prank. Right. 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 And yeah. then I remember at the end of that, we just said in passing, hey, bro, we should collab. One of those, like, you know, throw away things. That actually, before, before we collaborated, right, I mm. actually watched some of your stuff. Mm. Yeah. And then I thought to myself, this channel needs some help. Why don't I come and join and oh, try to Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I also saw some of uh, your stuff. Boost, and I was like, boost your guy, views. Yeah, I was yeah. like, this guy. I, 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 I really take pity on these two. Uh, they, they really need some, um, um, you know, some views. Lah. Some see, viewerships, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, being me, yeah. uh, I just... The magnanimous and benevolent you know, Wayab, <laughs> is it? Yeah, I wanted to ask what you mean by being me. Yeah, right? that's right. There's a lot of <laughs> Noayabs that we know. I was if you Google Noayab, yeah, you get his production, so you also get a lot of other articles. Yeah, like. Right. Yeah, Some of first page, about, hey, don't. <laughs> all the articles, the good articles are on the second and third page, okay? So never ever neglect the second and third pages of Google. The first page, yeah, yeah first page of Google. Yeah, yeah don't. Yeah. It's uh, clickbait, lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first don't, page is clickbait. Uh, come on, guys! Don't don't believe everything you see online. Yeah, that is yeah. true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. But but one thing I think uh, universally everyone can agree on is that I think Noah Yap's voice is <laughs> like the equivalent of um, if like Scarlett Johansson was a man, <laughs> like, that would be Noah's voice, uh, right? That is a very weird but very apt to It's true. It's true. Yeah. Everything that sounds like me, right? Uh-huh. The first thing your message is me. Yeah. The first thing you all do a message uh, do to me is to message me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what the what was it? The NUS video. Cuckoo bird. Yeah. Cuckoo bird. Cuckoo bird. NUS. NTU. Uh, NTU. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you say? Ah, uh? the cuckoo bird. Cuckoo bird. Wait, wait, wait. Can we do this? This is a monumental moment. Wait, wait. wait no, what's the yeah. thing you say? Ah, cuckoo bird. Ah. But but this this is a monumental moment. So okay. can we have silence? No laughing. We're gonna let Noah imitate the NTU. Just disclaimer: bird. I am not him. Cuckoo bird, cuckoo bird, cuckoo bird, cuckoo bird. All right, Happy? Uh, yeah. all right. Happy? That has been immortalized forever, man. When Ben King came on, he played a song, everything, and then when Noah Yap comes on, he I does don't need music <laughs> to make my presence known. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, oh, man. I love yeah. you again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was fucking support local. Amazing. This is what our local musicians are. <laughs> <laughs> local musicians. 
Yeah, but mm. I mean, it like the when we say you have appeared in our productions, like it couldn't be more true because today, twenty eight Feb- uh, May, May uh, the latest production that has come from Ministry of Funny, starring Noah, is out. Mm. Right? Oh yes, yeah, that is absolutely right. All episodes are out right now on Me Watch. Yeah, and yeah. and Terence, why don't you give us a little context of the show, man? Um, it's called The Amazing Showman, mm. Naso Hausi, and it's uh the story of a. Uh, Guy in his thirties, you know, who's struggling to be an actor. <laughs> you know what is well, going I, I didn't know the guy was in his thirties. Thirties <laughs> in his thirties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's, he's in his thirties. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, we yeah. cast you as a yeah, thirties, mid thirties guy. Yeah. And <laughs> you all realize that you all never really use much makeup on me, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. We thought it was very apt, uh. right? Yeah, he was supposed to be twenties, but then when we thought Noah would be perfect for the show, we're like, ah, fucking yeah. make it. Let's, let's <laughs> make him thirties. <laughs> Uh, Every time I come on board, I yeah. must always ask what's the catch. Exactly. Yeah, 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 the there's catch? always something embarrassing that I have to do. Exactly. And exactly. even though I say no, I still end up doing it anyway. Okay, we'll, we'll go there, yeah. we'll go there. But I'll just quickly just put out there what the show is about. It's a guy who is a struggling actor who decides to, using VFX and some trickery on the internet, he tries to pretend that he, is act- he has acted in all the biggest Channel 8 blockbusters from the 90s and 80s and shows them to his mother who has uh, dementia. And to con her into thinking that he's a big movie star, a big sh- a big media cop star la. So Noah played the the that man. The amazing con man. Yeah, the amazing showman. The amazing showman. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah. Well, 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 the, the genesis of that really was I think really when we look at ourselves as as content creators. Yeah. And we think about our relationships with our mothers. Yeah. And how we have failed them in the traditional Singapore way, la, right? Yeah, exactly. And and I remember I think it was what two years ago when when we were just thinking of ideas to pitch and all and I think it was Terence you came up with the idea first mm. right uh, but then when I heard it I realized that there's a lot of things that that resonate with me as well mm. uh, and then we developed it uh, uh, we we brought in a very talented writer director mm. and the most important thing is in Chinese mm. you know I don't speak Chinese Terence thinks he can speak Chinese but he yeah. actually he can like your Chinese is okay la. yeah and then uh, Noah also. Aren't you from RI? Yes, yes, from RI. But yeah, RI is... RI boys all can speak Chinese one, right? No, 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 no. That's the, I mean, he's RI boy, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh. Uh. Ah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Chinese RI privilege. All very Chinese good in their mother tongue. My mother tongue sucks. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing else to say. <laughs> no, but this is a good point because Noah himself, I mean, uh, you've appeared in Chinese movies and everything, but Chinese actually is not your, your Bro, standard. Mandarin language. is not my strong point. That's why, uh. honestly, right, before taking on this show, I was, I was actually... Like one week before I was reading the script mm. and I actually oh. wanted to call you all to <laughs> let you all know that I'll be pulling out. Really? Oh, uh? Yeah, I told you why. I mean, I didn't know it was to that extent. La. I, I knew yeah, you yeah, were. No, you it, was, it, was, it was that before you be, Before you pull out, you always call the person first, is it? Oh yeah, always. always. <laughs> uh, Must call on phone. No, I, I you care for you all, that's why. Place, uh? <laughs> I care for you all, that's why I, this is my form of protection. I see, I right. see, I see. Cool, uh, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. I so see, yeah, I, I wanted to pull out the show uh-huh. and mm. uh, because the Chinese lines were chunky and I mm. couldn't really read um, most of them. Okay. Yeah, so I thought, you know, why not give this amazing opportunity to someone else? <laughs> but in yeah. the end, uh, yeah, I, 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 after watching the show, I mean, I loved it mm. and... I'm proud of myself that I actually managed to pull it off. Yeah, so, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, yeah. I, I really saw um, some of the struggles you had with the the script earlier, especially during the script read and everything. Yeah, <laughs> that script read was was yeah, horrendous. Because it was opposite Jasmine, who speaks right. quite fluent Chinese. Correct, and correct. Your mother also, she also speaks. Quite yes, fluent yes. Chinese. Everyone else, even the director is. Uh, he he has worked yeah. with so many big directors from China. And correct, stuff. correct. So. Like what? What then? What in the end convinced you to do it? Like, like because you you did not have the like you did not I know said, what the show looked like. Right? Uh, in the first five minutes, I really wanted to help you guys. Mm, but I thought that was back so, in 2014, 2015. No, no, the help is still year. ongoing. <laughs> it's still ongoing. It's still ongoing. Same with this yeah. podcast, lah. You exactly. You, you saw us two thirty year olds just <laughs> mid thirties talking <laughs> into microphones into a nobody else come. Like, only me, eh. <laughs> We'd what would we here. do without you, uh, yeah. our savior, uh, Noah? Yeah. I put the funny in Ministry of Funny. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you guys like are a, just a ministry. You're like the living Noah's Ark, la, right? <laughs> you find pairs of people yeah. who need help and you help us. Yeah. You bring them across <laughs> the sacred waters <laughs> yeah, that's right, to paradise. In these stormy oceans <laughs> of time. Yeah, but hey, uh, I, I'm really, really proud of this show. The editing, the story, the acting, um, everything 
came together really, really well. The art, uh, the art, and yeah, the, the, the colors and lighting. Yeah. Wow. Uh, the way you guys shot it as well, I mean, it's amazing. And, and uh, it's great that I come on set and I don't see Harish's face as well. Like, that's true, that's true. I, I don't act alongside him. To so clarify, it's, that's it's, because it's, it's in Chinese, like, right? Yes. Yeah yeah. 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 So that's also one of the reasons why. I, <laughs> <laughs> you have to balance tough language, but no Harish. Oh, the trade off is quite good. Well, yeah. <laughs> But, but okay, but that's it. Uh. Uh, what was the most challenging thing, I mean, besides the Chinese, uh, for you on this shoot? Because the last, I think she's a terrorist, it was quite clear like what the most, some of the most challenging parts were. Uh, yeah, right? and, and She's a Terrorist is the TV show we made last year. She's yeah. a Terrorist and I Love Her, which was yeah. an eight-episode comedy series that also starred Noah Yap. Yes. Uh, this time, he had to see my face on set every day. But yeah, that was the last big show that we did with you right, guys. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, Noah had a very tough scene in the She's a Terrorist, remember? Mm, mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to prepare myself. Yeah. Prepare myself and my body in uh, various ways. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, love scene, uh, love scene. Yeah, for that scene. That's why I was expecting a love scene as well in the uh, Naso Aussie, right? But... <laughs> Maybe season two. <laughs> That's why you're scanning it, but you don't understand the script. Eh? Where's maybe the got, sex maybe got, sex scene? Maybe got, maybe got. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe got. I don't know, your toxic masculinity uh, on display. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Because you went to an all male at NS experience. La. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, it shows there's that. no female at NS experience, all right. No, la, but that's what the topic of our last podcast was. Oh, but yes, your yes, question yes, just yes. now was what the was toughest, the toughest? Yeah, yeah. The toughest oh, yeah, right, right. Toughest scene or whatever. Uh, what was challenging, I think, was. Uh, what, was what was challenging besides the Chinese lines? Uh? I mean, the Chinese lines were were the biggest hurdle but mm -hmm. I think besides that everything was really really quite smooth like what about um, the, the emotional scenes mm. oh right 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 uh, okay that was quite okay to pull off mm. uh, you're talking about specifically about the crying scene that you were doing yeah yeah mother, yeah right? I, I mean yeah, yeah that, that, that was quite tough to pull off um, but I mean it's all a matter of like channeling the emotions and all that Okay, so so maybe um, maybe just to 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 attack that point a bit because I think like even I think I was on set when I saw you do the that crying scene and even for she's a terrorist you did have a scene where on the spot you produced a tear la, right and mm. until I entered the industry and started acting it I was always wondering are they actually crying how are they doing this so so maybe like what's your secret to to pulling off a scene like that mm -hmm. you like know crying you on demand you know you were standing behind the camera when I was crying right yeah yeah yeah. I That's see. Cool, so anyone who wants to cry on set, I need to be there, lah. Is it? <laughs> and think about the fact of uh, uh, how little I was paid for the whole show. Uh. Fuck <laughs> lah, <I> don't <laughs> you Okay, no, no, no. But, uh, but 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 to be honest, yeah. Um, <clears throat> my secret to crying is just to um, really, really think about my bank account. For real, uh. For real. <laughs> What about all the our boys to men, our boys yeah, to men mula, bro? Yeah, six out of ten there. Eh. Yeah, Top six out of ten. Yeah, they were all earned during my uh, uh, teenage days, so that money has been spent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so uh, besides that, okay, the uh. challenging thing was, I think, placing myself in that position where I had to react mm. the the classic scenes from the the Channel 8 dramas. Yep. Because yeah. most of them were, or, or not most, all of them were pretty big shows. Yeah. yeah. Right? They were classic, like, dramas on sh right. on, on, on screen. Mm. So I, I, I couldn't not, uh, as in, I, I, I couldn't do something which was, you know, like, half, half par or like, you know, mm -hmm. uh, not exactly playing the proper respects to, to that show. You yeah. know what I mean? Correct, yeah. Correct. Uh, I had to do it well. <coughs> la. So that was pretty challenging. Um, and most of the time it's oh yeah it's actually green screen so I had to act with myself mm. and uh, prior to that it's just watching the scene um, before I actually shot it and how mm. the character actually played that scene so like Lin Nan Singh mm. and, and um, yeah so for context this is what Terence mentioned earlier about how the protagonist digitally inserts himself into the iconic scenes like, but mm. what were some of the movies there? Uh? Like what? I mean, <coughs> there's the Unbeatables, mm. which is Song Tian Zitsun, the gambling movie, uh, gambling series that was very popular in the early 90s. Uh, there's Return of the Condor Heroes, the mm. uh, Seng, Tiao, Seng Tiao Xia Li, which till to, to today, you go to China and you tell people 
uh, Fan Wong Christopher Lee They mm. remember Ah Sun Tiao Si Ali From the 90s It was mm. very very popular mm. um, So Noah actually Inserts himself As a character In those shows mm. Re- mm. I mean Sort of like Sweeting and replacing uh, You know Lee Li Nan Singh's role Or Christopher Lee's role Inside the clips in there la. Mm. So so visually It's it's. I think anyone who recognises Those shows Will recognise Will remember those scenes And then suddenly see Noah's face Inserted in there It'll be a very big shock la. So, mm. so uh, th- th- that's why the those scenes are particularly funny. This is Ed- why the editing was was spot on, man. Mm. Yeah, mm. editing was spot on. Yeah, sorry. Mm. And it was edited by by dear Terence over here. Right. Yeah. 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 Right, right, right. Remember the 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 I would say that a lot of the editing ethos and everything is a uh, is uh, collectively from she's a terrorist. How we mm. built up the way we edit. And then Alex, the director, also gave a lot of feedback. And then, and, and our even, co- colorist, even also? the colorist, also gave a lot of feedback. Because mm. I mean. The, the the really cool thing about this project is that everyone really lo- loved it, like, you know, loved it in a way that we all knew that we were we were showing shows that we all loved when we were young. Uh, and then, you know, we were introducing these shows maybe to a new generation of Gen Z or TikTokers. Mm. And uh, yeah, like, we're putting, you know, some of the biggest social media stars of today on in the show as well. And putting them opposite like old favourites like Chen Su Cheng. Mm. Mm. Uh, how was your experience like, working with Chen Su Cheng as well? Like? Oh. You know, after working with him, I have so much respect for that guy. Mm. Because the first time I saw him on set, uh, he actually came down from another shoot, I mm. think. Mm. So he actually ended an overnight shoot uh, before that and he came straight to, oh, is to it? work for us. Uh-huh. Uh, work for us, sorry. Work, work uh, on, on this set. set yeah. mm. So uh, I remember you giving him the script mm. and then he just took one look at it, memorized his lines on the spot and then bam, he started to roll and he shot everything word for word. Mm. And it's not just kind of like simple Chinese, you know. It's with like Chen Yu and mm. and what's Chen Yu? Chen Yu is like you know those like uh, sayings. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, like idioms, phrases. Like, idioms, you know, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah idioms, like in the four uh, words. Ah, uh, idioms. Uh. Yeah. So he just did everything perfectly mm. without batting an eyelid. Mm. Just did it smoothly, and then out there just like. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. I remember yeah. watching from outside and, and I mean I wasn't sure what was being said but I could feel the presence lah, right mm. um, but but on that note right you know like you all are mentioning shows uh, that people grew up with and these actors and all that but as a someone who doesn't speak Chinese and as many mm. of our listeners who don't speak Chinese right why why would you guys say this show is something that is for everyone I mean if not if you don't watch it for the classic Channel 8 shows mm. You should watch it For The Chemistry That mm. everybody has mm. On screen mm, mm, mm. Uh, Nobody looked awkward <laughs> And everybody looked like They were really Playing their part yeah. uh, I mean the comedy ele- uh, the, the comedy element Is also there yeah. And um, I think it, it's It's a really Heartwarming show To mm. watch with your family As well yeah. uh, Especially the relationship You have with your mother You know It, it may Improve the relationship that you have with your mom. Yeah, mm. yeah. No, but I think uh, because yeah, you you ask the question because it really is a story about a guy's relationship with his his mother, mm. and he basically faces a choice: like, do I lie to make her happy, or should I tell her the truth and you know be really open with my my parents? I like? mean, moms mm. always they are there to like nag at you, and mm. and they are they are always there to like uh, when you're getting married, when yeah. you're doing this, when you're doing that, but. You know, all in all, I think mean, I think the show really shows that they are just doing it out of love. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm. they are not there. They they didn't birth you to nag at you. Yeah, I mean, they obviously love you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I I think this is a very good show to watch with your mom. Yeah. Um. Especially cherishing them when they are still alive mm. because yeah, that's that's pretty important. No, and I, and yeah. I remember we when we first started talking about the show, one of the big inspirations actually was Stephen Lim. There was a yeah. there was a rice oh media article. <laughs> yeah. so, no, for real, for real. Yeah, I, for no, real, I know. Real. So yeah. what happened was, oh, you, when I yeah. received the call, right, you call, you all called me, right? <laughs> yeah. And you all broke the show down for me. <laughs> and then you all mentioned, okay, so this character like Stephen Lim. So I went to watch all of his videos. I'm like, okay, I'm going to play this guy. I'm going to be like him. Let me just, you know, watch his stuff to see how to play him. Uh. Right? And I really, I really did it. Yeah, and then when I came on set, no, that was the script read. The script Sorry, read script was read. the first time you re- realized. Yeah, I told you guys, hey guys, like, so I'm playing this Stephen Lim guy, right? So I, I really watch his videos and all that, and then you're like, no, 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 that what, what, why are you going to watch his videos? That that is not what we asked you. To do. 
<laughs> that is not how the characters should be played. Uh. I'm like, what the hell? Then I go and watch the videos for what? No, then I also remember he said, fuck you lah, I almost go to have dinner with him next week. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> so I wanted to meet him. I wanted, I, I legit wanted to ask him out for dinner. Uh. To like, to, to go and... Uh, understand his, understand his, his, his character and like, <laughs> how he acts, how he moves around the room. No, I mean, in Method some way, thing, it was great to see the commitment you, you, you had to really play this character you thought the character was based on. Mm. But, but it really was anchored in it. And just now you were mentioning that Rice Media article. No, no, there was an article that, yeah. um, they, they, it was about Stephen Lim, but also they interviewed, quite a big part of it, they interviewed his father. Mm. And just asked him about, you know, what you think about his career choices and things like that. La. I have nothing but respect for that guy. Man. Yeah, Stephen oh really? For real? Mm. Yeah, you're not, you're not joking. Yeah, you're no, I'm real. not joking. Oh really? Mm. He, he is... You can say what about him, right? But the guy is hustling, man. He mm. he supplies extras to MediaCorp, mm. and he has his own like eye plucking, uh, eyebrow plucking eyebrow. thingy, mm. and he paid for a three or four room HDB flat mm. by himself in cash. Mm. Mm. He, the, the guy is loaded, man. Mm. You yeah, can say yeah. what about him, but he 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 has money. Yeah. And he, he really hustles. Yeah. La. yeah. Really I've seen him and, selling and, insurance and, and, in, in Bishan and mm. Mati and all that. So oh, really? He, he yeah. does whatever. I mean, he does stupid things on the internet. Yeah. But when you actually talk to him, right, yeah. he is harmless. But that's, harmless why, guy. that's why the article was so interesting because I think it was the first viral article from Rice mm. Media that, that people were really sharing. And I remember reading it and I also felt a bit like, okay, I respect his hustle. I yeah. respect his commitment to do what he wants. But when you read the dad's account, right, it's almost like the dad is wondering, like, what's, what, doing what, what's my son doing? Mm. Yeah. yeah, And yeah, that was the genesis of this idea. Do you like. know how much money he's making from those stupid birthday videos? Oh, like, like the cameo kind of mm. videos. Yeah. I think, yeah. He so one video said, right? yeah. charge 100 bucks. Yeah. yeah. And to people, it's like, oh, it's 100 bucks for a stupid birthday video, right? right yeah, 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 yeah. But you get 100 people to do That's this. like 10,000 already. La. How much money yeah. are you making? Yeah. In one month, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And you see his Facebook, he's constantly posting one day can be like four or five mm. videos. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah. So, so have you thought of doing yeah. that yourself? <laughs> no, no, no. So have what happened was my, my friend, yeah. um, uh, my friend's friend actually did, um, uh, she, they actually engaged him to do a birthday video for one of uh, their friends. Yeah. And he was very professional about it. Like, mm. okay, uh, give me a number, you know, uh, what do you want me to say? Send me some pictures or what? Five, ten minutes, bam. The video was done, sent back immediately, you know. Seriously? Really? Yeah. It's so fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there was nothing fishy about it. It's really work. Mm. Yeah. I remember back in 2004 or 2005 for my friend's 21st birthday, her mom got Stephen Lim to come and dance for her at her birthday party. Mm. So he's been, like, you have to give him credit for somehow finding a way to stay Relevant? 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 Yeah, yeah. relevant. relevant. Yeah. It's been a long fucking yeah. time, man. Remember and Singapore Idol? Yeah. Singapore Idol. That was when he was right, right, first. Right, right. Oh, yeah. That was his first appearance, right? Yeah, he stripped her. He sang She Bangs, is it? I think so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he stripped it. <laughs> to his uh, B, Bumblebee yeah. underwear. Yeah. So, so, I mean, how did that article lead to you coming up with the idea? No, we're talking about the... Basically, anyone who's chasing a dream, right? And, and then your closest ones... Sometimes they can be your best cheerleader, but sometimes they might be the only person who can who can tell you the truth about what whether what you're chasing is really worth it, lah, right? Mm, mm. And then I think his dad falls in that category of like, you know, I I, I it's quite I can't say much, lah. You know, he's my son. He wants to do this. I tried to tell him to do something else, but he doesn't want to. So what to do? So I don't know whether you all experience that. I mean, in your I families, like, like I mean, I like my dad is no longer around. So since twenty thirteen, I had been staying with my mom, and yeah, when when like the, looking at the story and all, yeah, I totally related to me because yeah, I'm sure, like uh, people around my family, no matter what we make, there'll always be this this belief that oh. Why can't he get a regular job? Why can't he get a regular job? And I mean, it makes me feel good when I hear even stars like Kumal Nanjiani, um, M Night Shyamalan still still talk about their parents in the same way. Like mm. there, there's almost like if you don't have a regular job, uh, your parents will never will always be like, ah, why is he doing this? So the story in that sense, like the mom and the the son who's pursuing this this passion, yeah, it it struck a nerve with me also la. Mm. How about you, know Like like oh your, my your family, my parents uh, are. Have been supportive of me doing what I do from from day one. Mm. Yeah, mm. but your day one was very early, lah. Right, like you're 15 years old already. Yeah, lah. Yeah, uh. 15, 16. I was like, I, I want to be an actor. 
Oh, is and it? Then, yeah, la. and oh. they, they have never said like, no. But the, uh, the from you, one I told them, they, they were like... Was there a turning point where you were like, I want to be an actor? Um, when you got rejected by a girl or something, is it? No, uh, I mean, uh, no, but that, that happens. But mm. uh, that's not one of the reasons why... Because that's, that's one of the reasons why I started making videos. <laughs> she told you that you cannot act? No, she just ghosted me. What? Then I was like... I haven't, I haven't told you the story. Yet. Like that was the first time Terence saw a video that I made on Facebook because I was on a work work trip and I wanted to show this girl that I was having a good good time. Uh. Mm. So I just took videos of myself and like a vlogger. Uh. This no, was two thousand eleven. You know, he started vlogging from no, Paris. <laughs> but you started, the, you started vlogging to edit to send her. No, no to post on Facebook. Oh. Post on Facebook. <laughs> Fucking childish, fucking no, petty. And I remember yeah. it was, then he posted something about some pigeon <laughs> shit or something. Yeah. I'm like, dude, like this damn sad uh, when you're making this kind of videos. <laughs> it's very sad. I mean, I, I admire the hustle, but it's very sad. <laughs> and Terrence oh, messaged me. Yeah, yeah. Terrence messaged me, hey, you know, like, what, what is there? We should, like, make video, like, yeah. we should chat or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so that was the why Genesis. how I stumbled into uh, right. content creation. But you? Okay, I remember from uh, a very young age, I was I was watching uh, Jack New movies. Uh, and mm. The one I saw, which one? Uh, I Pupen. watched Xiao Pupen. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I was watching Xiao Pupen, and yeah. I told myself that one day I want to star in a Jack New movie. Uh, mm. yeah. And then that was the moment that you know what? Let's let's do it. Wow. Yesterday, I think yesterday, literally yesterday, you reposted something from twenty twelve mm. where you say, "Hey guys, I got the a, a leading oh, role yeah. in a Boys to mm. Men." And then, so that and was. It has really been nine years. Eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been nine years since since that happened, and uh, I mean, it's been a roller coaster of emotions. And since, oh, since crazy. Then. I, I've, I've, I've every day I wake up and I'm, I'm so thankful that I'm still working. Really. Like, in this line, yeah. You wake up and you're like, oh fuck. I'm, thank- uh, yeah, yeah. Thank God. Oh, I mean, really? yeah, so Normally thankful. I see your Insta stories <laughs> like fucking construction still going on. <laughs> the noise. So cannot like, sleep the whole the night. Thought comes <laughs> before the construction starts. <laughs> then the construction starts. Then I'm like, you know what? You know, okay, so my neighbors moved in already. Okay, thank God. And um, you know, it's a funny thing. They moved in last week. Uh. And three days ago, they're still drilling. Huh? Can you believe it? That means really? Can yeah. you believe it? But, but less, less intense. Uh, really. I mean, less intense, but less it's still intense, like. Uh. <laughs> hey, what time? What time? Uh, like 1? 1 p.m.? 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Wow. But I mean, 1pm technically drilling is... You shut up, they're moving already. <laughs> la. You what? It's legal, it's legal. It's I've legal been on... It's legal. Hey, legal doesn't mean it's right, okay? Legal doesn't mean it's right. Do you know how long I've suffered? Or? I counted a good almost two years, you know? I know, a lot of people on no, Instagram... No, 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 you just know. go and think about it. Almost uh. two years of drilling. Uh. You, how long you can never you drill? go and ask. You never go and ask, what, what, why are they drilling? I don't want to be the bad neighbor. I don't want to be like, hey, what the fuck are you having? So he's doxing them now on. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, if you're hearing this, <laughs> piece of shit neighbors, you hear my voice, you know it's me, right? <laughs> Come and apologize to me right now, just beside you. Oh, he's a nice neighbor. He's a nice neighbor. <laughs> is, he, is he really? <laughs> uh, two but, years, okay, guys. Yeah, yeah. So that means like from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., you're full of sunshine and, and gratitude for your career. At 1 p.m. you become the Noah that we know. La. Yeah, 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. the next day, uh, yeah, it's the Noah that you the guys know. The Noah that we know. But 10 to 1, it's... Thankful. La, la, la. thankful. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> no, but so, so you, you decided you wanted to be in a Jack Neo movie, but did you like write it down on a piece of paper, put it in your room and all that? Oh my God, that would be epic, right? But yeah, or you did. That, that's actually what Jim Carrey did, well, no? Oh, is it? Jim Carrey, um, he wanted to be an actor mm. and he was failing at so many auditions where one day he uh, he wrote a check of, I think, a million bucks mm. to himself. That sounds familiar. And he's yeah. like, he put in his wallet. He's like, one day I'm going to receive this from someone. Uh-huh. And then, bah, 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 he, you know. Fucking blew up. It's uh. all about manis- manifestation. Manifest. Yeah, the yes. secret, uh, the secret, is yes. it? Yes. So your wallet Mani- now, your wallet now got, right? My, okay, my wallet, in 2010, was like, I want to work with MOF. <laughs> oh, I still have the paper. <laughs> you wanted to be civil servant, because uh, MOF wasn't born. <laughs> was by that time. Yeah. No, Ministry of Food. <laughs> Ministry of Food. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they closed down last year, right? Closed down already. Yeah, that's why I'm with, with Ministry of Funny now. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, You're just going down all the MOFs, <laughs> like, <Yeah>. is it? <laughs> what can be the next FB? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. But I mean, like, that's, that's the show that just got released today on mm. Friday, 28th May. But last week, on 20th May, 
uh, Thursday, I believe, there was another show that got released that we created that also stars Noah Yap. Mm. Oh, la, that's right. That's yeah, right, that's right, that's you right. forgot already, is it? Right, yeah, yeah. I don't... Ah, uh, what, what? You, you, you choose your words. Rem- I don't yeah. remember the shows um, that the production never take the photo with me. I see, so, I yeah. see. The selfie, yeah. Yeah. So, just to everyone watching out there, so we actually shot and recorded live exchange our new podcast. Uh, not a podcast, they're audible. Self-scripted audio pilot show. Uh-huh. All right? And it's out of audible right now. Yeah. And the two people sitting in front of me, they did a very lengthy and heartwarming post, you know, thanking all the actors and uh, saying, you know, how good the plot is and, and you know, how, how thankful they are for getting this pilot on Audible. And then everyone's name was mentioned, even my name. But guess what? My photo not inside. <laughs> <laughs> my selfie not inside. There were five carousel posts on that one post. I was swiping, 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 swiping. I'm like, wow, maybe they saved me for the last. Maybe it was a... Yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, I think I think it's a maybe it's a generational thing, right? Where uh, I think for Noah's generation, uh, if there's no photo, it didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. So did I really do the show? <laughs> we got some, oh, maybe we got CG the real bug. cuckoo bird guy. <laughs> <laughs> His voice, uh, yeah. yeah, because Close this enough. is an audible pilot. We really, I can't even remember what the person looks like when you were recording in our studio. All I know is his voice. <laughs> yeah, Noah, maybe it wasn't you, bro. Of shit. <laughs> no, but it, okay, but it had to be Noah because Noah wasn't only just an actor in the thing. He was actually a, a consultant mm. to, uh, to us when <laughs> Harris was writing the script. Yeah, and I, he laughs about it, but it was such a it was actually it was a pivotal. It was quite a pivotal moment after we we spoke to him one night. La. Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, what what do you feel when we approached you about it? La? About about speaking about specifically about um actually it was so, about yeah so, so maybe like I mean we have spoken about the audible pilot uh in I think two or three podcasts ago um but to reiterate in case you didn't catch it, that episode the audible pilot is a scripted fictional audio narrative so it's like a thirty five minute only audio and it's a story it's like you imagine Netflix but just audio and and the story is set in a not so distant future where humans can sell shares of themselves on a stock exchange. You know, now the world is all about retail investing and how does the stock exchange work? Companies sell stocks, investors buy the stocks and then they can influence the decisions of the company. So we thought, hmm, what would happen if it could be done on people? And the story is set in a prison where a prisoner is offered the chance to sell shares of himself in exchange for freedom, but his life will then be controlled by his investors. So Noah plays the cellmate um, of the the protagonist, and he is also offered a chance to to take that 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 opportunity la. And because of the setting, we needed to write a story that is set is based in a prison in prison life. Mm, mm. Yeah. And Terence and I, when we we thought of the idea, we pitched it. We brought in another write, writer who worked with us on *She's a Terrorist* as well, and we were writing the story. And then when we decided, oh, you know, Noah is perfect for this role. How well, else? Um, how well, else can we <laughs> can we squeeze something out of Noah? And then we realized that his his experience could lend a lot of uh, uh, input. La. What experience are you talking about? I, I, I took a... Sh- uh, it was a holiday. It was a holiday. Yeah, 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 yeah. The holiday yeah, experience. But in your ho- hotel room was quite small, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was actually yeah. the same size of uh, The same size, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the audio pilot was... The audio pilot, yeah. yeah. So, so that's why we thought... Uh, I mean, like, uh, Noah, we, we, we did learn a lot from your experience. But... Uh, Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yeah. But um <laughs> I'm shaking my head because you fucking asshole. No, so maybe maybe That's why I say every time you call me <laughs> there's always a catch. <laughs> no, maybe maybe you also can tell us what, what hey, the experience Noah, was. Hey Noah, wear a towel around your 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 chest so it looks like a girl. Hey Noah, <laughs> cover your private parts with a pillow. Hey Noah, let's relieve your past trauma experiences for fun. <laughs> So that we can actually make something out of it. So what is this past past experience, Noah? Uh, yeah, so about the holiday thing you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so the pilot actually listening to it, right? It yeah. really made me made me feel that I was inside that cell. Because mm, 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 really? the Foley, the sound engineer was mm. perfect. Like on the dot perfect. Wow, oh, serious, yeah. Uh? yeah. So it actually made me feel like I was in the cell with yeah. you. Yeah. And uh, getting you getting locked up in like isolation and all that. Yeah. Uh, um, you can really hear like the metal door 
slamming the metal, you know, the small door, like jamming here and there and the bars and oh, everything. Th- that is awesome to hear because, because yeah, like the, the story did involve the protagonist going from a cell, being thrown into an isolation room and going to the interview room and we recorded it all in our office without any location, without any sound effects and then we just had to build an area around it and yeah, Noah, like kudos to you for helping inform us on how to build a world. Mm. And, and actually, what was up? Yeah. I, you've, you've, uh, I mean you, that seriously, Noah. Why are you laughing? He means it, he means it. <laughs> I can vouch for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But so what is the difference between being an actor you know, in, on screen versus just doing audio? Uh, wow. Oh, that's a very good question actually because uh, on screen, you can actually talk to and not, not talk to but you can actually um, like there's so many people on set right mm-hmm. and there's everybody else watching you mm. and, yeah. and, and you know uh, seeing how you do and, and, and there's makeup and everything uh, but as compared to audio pilot it's just you the other actor or whoever you're working with mm-hmm. and the script mm. so you're actually I think more uh, in tune with the whole story I guess mm-hmm. when you are when it's just you and the script and your voice, your voice really plays a very, I mean, your voice is the only thing they're listening to, right? Yeah, yeah. So it, it is crucial to how you actually intonate and pronounce your words and, mm. and, and bring emotion to the, that couple of lines that you are saying. Mm. You know, because on, on screen, people can see your face, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, they can see how you are saying that line. But as compared to voice, mm. you are only hearing how I say it. You don't see my face. Yeah. You, you can't see how I'm expressing a line. So all that has to come through you by just using a voice, which is tough. Was, yeah. it, was there anything about it that surprised you, that process? Um, it surprised me how, not easy, but quick it was to actually... To record, like, right? Complete everything. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 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 Because even for us, like writing it, thinking of the story, because to anyone listening who might not be familiar with the filmmaking process, like, yeah the process of planning a location shoot, going to a location, hoping it doesn't rain, hoping there's no other fuck-ups, takes up a lot of time. And the beauty of audio is you can literally write the scene to be anywhere. And then you add the sound effects and you build the environment. So, yeah, we literally just went from scene to scene with Terrence, Noah, and I just not moving anywhere. We were in the same room the whole time. But yeah, I I think the other challenging thing is how how do you actually place the listeners in that Mm. area which you want them to be in? Yeah. You know, how do you actually create a world? How do you actually put them in a space where, okay, you know what, I'm in the courtyard now. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what, I'm in the jail cell mm-hmm. right now. So I think that came across really, really well in uh, our life exchange. So, so then like for Terrence, you've directed She's a Terrorist and I Love Her, with a, which was a acting like, like a series. But this one, you also directed us as audio actors. Yeah. But what's the difference? Uh, uh, I think the... Because directing the action, usually what we've done is all comedy, right? Yeah. And comedy, the good thing is very visual and, and you have a lot of tools to work with in terms of the actor's expressions and everything. But when it comes to voice, all the littlest things like just how you say one word, you know, makes a huge difference mm. in how someone uh, hears something. And, and I think there probably is less so-called cheating when it's really just one element like that, lah. Uh, for example, when I say cheating, I mean like, um, for she's a terrorist. I, re- I don't know if you remember, there was one particular scene we forgot. Oh, fuck, we forgot to film Noah saying, oh, okay, I, I, yes, 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 I'm here with the, I'm here with your daughter right now, sit in a safe place. We forgot to get you on the comm saying that, you know. So we had Oh, to for sc- terrorists, is it? Yeah, she's oh. a terrorist. So we oh, had to... Yes. Scan- the yes. Yeah, yeah, we, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. You Noah yeah. just needed right. to say, yes, I'm here, or something like that. <laughs> la. So we had to scan through all the dialogue <laughs> when Noah said yes in previous episodes. And then we f- zeroed in on one where he, he was shouting, yes, very loudly. La. And it was actually the sex scene <laughs> where Noah was going, Yes! So we took the yes. Hey, don't lie. You're ex- just using that as an excuse <laughs> to rewatch the scene, right? Eh? <laughs> just to rewatch the... No, it's true, it's, it's true. true, true, true. So, so we took true. that yes and then inserted it and then, you know, cleaned it up a bit and then put it into the scene where you You don't know it could have been done so much easier by just calling me and, calling and tell me, telling me to just WhatsApp you guys the, the no, line, but, right? But, but when but, you record yeah. via WhatsApp, there is a bit of a difference. And mm. at 2 a.m. when you're editing... Yeah. Uh, you're like fuck it lah. Just find some other some other place to bring the yes from. Yeah. It's just that the and the yes. I mean, you wait, 
2 a.m., two guys in a room just watching a sex scene, filtering we out slowly. We were editing remotely. All right. It's just okay. the way you say yes yeah. was so enthusiastic. It was the correct. <laughs> it was the correct intonation. <laughs> I think no director could have asked for more. La. Like James Cameron be like, yeah, yeah, that, yes. That, so, yes. So what you're saying for audio, it is Harder, very pure. Hard. Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah, audio. I think you're you're actually working with a lot. Uh, you're working less, but it also gives you makes you more creative, like in certain ways. You know, to think mm-hmm. about okay, how do we do this scene? And all rest. I think uh, you, you guys know like on on set on when there's like an art director and then a DP everything, uh, you have to rely on them and trust them a lot to you know that it will be nice that it will look good and all that mm. Mm. Whereas this one really is like what you hear now. That's it. Is that's as good as it's gonna be mm. Yeah. Mm. So, so it is. It is quite um quite quite intense. Uh. It's very I, intense. I'm 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 actually curious how sound engineers do what they do for oh, like yeah. fully. Mm. Like mm. how do they actually do? Like the metal bars, do they actually? It's not no from a sound library. Yeah. So it's all, no. Is it all computerized or do they actually? Because I watched some videos on yeah. Yeah, online, yeah. right? You know they they like you know for example like horses. Yeah. The the trotting. They yeah. actually use some like. No no no, no 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 This no. one this one uh a lot of it was from sound libraries. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but right. he. But I know he creates some of his own sounds. Uh, our engineer, sound engineer, Wei Yong. Yeah, some lah. He is. Well, he he yeah. is a Golden Horse winning sound engineer. Yeah. Don't yeah. Play, play. So he has yeah. his own library, and he's a composer also lah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So wow. so so I mean that's why the sound design thing is almost it's it's almost quite liberating because you can literally create any environment you want. Correct. Yeah. Without having to go to that environment. It la. is as important, if not more important than. Than the the voice that you, the the voices that you hear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. It adds a lot, lah. Mm. Yeah. So so yeah. So I mean that that was a pilot. So the Channel Eight show is a full series. Mm. Hopefully, there's a season two. This pilot. Hopefully, we get the full series. Yeah. And of course, if you're listening, you can help out by checking it out at the link in the description. Yes. Right. Um. If you like it, leave a comment, leave a rating, share it with your friends. Noah, have you left a comment and rating? Uh, I've left a five star rating. Okay, no comment. No comment. Why? <laughs> I'll, I'll keep the comments to myself. Fuck you. you <laughs> <just> <laughs> cannot own self, comment own self. Yeah, yeah, yeah la, how can I own self, comment own self? I'm like, what? This is the best pilot ever. Do more, do more. Then you say, by the way, yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> that is a very good point, Noah. A, so that was a test of your principles and values. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well done, Fast. you have passed. You, Fast have passed. Right. you have passed. But yeah, so so I mean, those are two shows that, that mm. we have out right now. Yeah. And and yeah. No, but I mean, uh, we actually also get Noah to because we, we we besides just talking about ourselves and plugging ourselves, I think we also want to talk about current affairs, lah, right? Because yeah. uh, we feel that uh, yeah, like everyone has an opinion about something, and uh, I think we also can touch on some current affairs. Sure. Today also, lah, right? Yeah, yeah, and and I mean the the first topic that we were talking about right before this podcast was the whole um, saga between Jade Rasif. Versus the Ministry of Manpower, mm, mm. right? And I know Noah, you you you're very excited about that topic. Yeah, I no, was. I mean, but but <laughs> to clarify, it's a bit uh, uh it's been a few days already since. Yeah, but I know right. some people are asking what is our take on it, like. Yeah. So I think it's a great time to be talking about it since we're also yeah. here with Noah. And I mean to recap what happened, I think we covered it as a goofy topic on one of the episodes. No, we never did. We never did. We never did. Never did. Oh, we never did. Okay, yeah. so so what happened was um, Jade Rasif. Uh, she got a helper who came to Singapore from Indonesia, I believe. Uh, she paid for her stay home uh, period of 14 days. And after three or four days, she got a call to come and pick up a helper because the helper tested negative for COVID. Mm. And then she inquired, oh, but I paid for 14 days. Why is it only three to four days? Regardless, she went to pick her up. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, the helper actually tested positive. And then Jade Rasif had to quarantine herself and her family. And she was just questioning the process and... Uh, she shared a lot of it on Insta stories and uh, she she showed uh, excerpts of conversations with the, I think, I believe the Ministry of Manpower officials and they weren't the, the nicest to her to explain the situation. La. And then they posted a press release claiming that Jade, Jade Rasif's uh, account was inaccurate, um, after which she posted more Insta stories with audio recordings and more screenshots to clarify that, no, what the press release said was incorrect. La. And in the end, Ministry of Manpower came forward and apologized that to Jade Rasif for, for 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 the inaccuracies in their own press release. That is just badass, man. Yeah, mm. you can't get any more badass than that. Yeah, you say badass because what to get MOM. You to actually apologize. got a ministry 
yeah. a big ass ministry in Singapore to dedicate a whole Facebook page a post to you and say sorry. Yeah. That is like <laughs> wow. Is that your like your dream? Personally? I mean I want Ministry of Party to apologize to me first. <laughs> Not the government, okay? <laughs> oh, I want to make sure funny to apologize to me first. No, but I think I think what you said it is very, very true because I mean right now in the world of, you know, keyboard activists, there's a lot of people who will um sh- like just go all out in uh uh like uh, supporting causes and sharing their opinion and and asking for change and asking for for whatever la. but the way Jade Russell did it this time I must also commend her and salute her because she did it in a way that it really highlighted an issue um, she didn't get overly preachy or self uh, aggrandizing but it was just an issue that needed to be clarified and when there was a statement that was inaccurate she did her due diligence to record her conversations take screen captures and kind of have the backup uh, to explain why that was inaccurate. Like, and I think it's very important because when a press release comes from a government body, it's hard to discount. Like. And like, I think most people would see if it comes out in a press release, they will believe it, right? So she pointed out that, okay, you know, even press releases can be inaccurate, which I respect. Like. Mm-hmm. And the way she did it also. Like. But, yeah, but yeah she, she didn't really like attack, attack them. Yeah. Rather, she just said, that, okay, this is what happened. Yeah. So can you guys do something about it? But yeah. but the one thing I was quite shocked by was that uh, apparently she was texting one of the guys driving the ambulance that brought her helper to to the quarantine right, facility. Right, right, right. And the guy apparently replied her on I don't know if it's a guy or girl la, but the person replied her on WhatsApp fuck off or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. I was just wondering why I mean, okay la, frontline workers and all uh, you know, it's tough time for them but why would you say fuck off so angrily to someone who just asked about yeah, aren't wait, you wait, supposed wait, wait. to be like in the service line and... and, and yeah, yeah, you, in, can't in, you are kind of in the service line and, right? and, and, yeah. and like... Maybe he was really having a really bad day or... was it because no, he was very I, I mean, you, you can't discount the fact that he actually did it, why? You yeah, can't be yeah, you can't. giving yeah. excuses. So is it because it's Jade Rasif, then he knows or what? I, I don't think so, leh. No? Yeah. I, maybe, I mean, it could be anyone. It just so happened to be her. Yeah. You know? Mm. So sway lah. Because when yeah. I see that also in... And you know, like, okay, there was that and there, then there was the whole... Um, uh, issue at Changi Airport where there were lapses in the the way the protocols were being followed to prevent the spread of COVID, mm. and it just feels like okay, then shit. I, what we see on the surface is there a lot more that's brewing underneath, like, Because let's say if someone saw the MOM press release in this case and they discounted everything else, it would be paint a very pic- different picture in their eyes compared to what actually happened. You know, like she had all those records, and you see the message of that interaction between her and the authorities. And then you look elsewhere. Right now, generally, the media paints the situation as, okay, like a lot of things are being done. But when you look under the hood, there's all this stuff happening, which makes me think, shit, is there more stuff happening under the hood that we don't know about? Mm. So, so that kind of stuff, I think, yeah, it, if it makes people think and question, I think that's always good. Of course, not go down the conspiracy theory path. <laughs> uh, because then that's a very dangerous territory also. Mm. But yeah, I just thought, it's like, oh, shit. But yeah. I suspect, I mean... Um, in some way, that's why to me that the ambulance driver saying fuck off very loudly, right? It, it, I think it has to some to be something to do with the fact that it is Jade Rasif and she's known to be, you know, be you know, speak up about social causes mm. very prominently, very loudly. Um, because there are people who also will disagree with her yeah. on these things and maybe that person... She is quite like, opinionated. La. Yes, correct. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure you've had instances when you thought you were saying something right or posting about, you know, something that is like fair and all that. And you have enemies, also opponents, la, right? Who, mm. who ask I mean, you wh- whatever you all. say on social media, there will always be people opposing you. Eh. Yeah. So, yeah, but people ask you fuck off or not, that kind of thing. No, la, no. I mean, never not to the extent. La. Really? Yeah. You go ask people to fuck off? Ah, they won't go. La. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People never ask me. No. You go drive ambulance? <laughs> <la>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't come and review my part-time job. <laughs> oh, someone texting Jay. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. But yeah, yeah it's, 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 I mean, that's why I feel like for Jade, um, I respect her even more so. Yeah. Because she's not just a regular person who, mm. I mean, she, okay, as in she's not just a, a you know, a p- private person who goes about a day and then, you know, is just asking questions. But maybe people already know that she has a reputation for speaking up. La, and so they start to like try and, you know, smear her and, and say bad things about her or paint, mm. it, paint her a certain way. But she still managed to fight back and eventually get an apology. 
So, 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 it's, so it's actually good that she managed to get things done. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Because most people will just say, I, uh, I can't help it. Like, you know, the government. What, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Press release, how are you going to yeah. fight back? Sorry, I, I, I'm so I don't sorry. know whether if the same thing happened to, to us, whether we would do yeah. the, you know. I mean, for me, yeah. also posting one Insta story always takes so much time, like the fucking text, the font, and all that. But she was just going at it. I, and I think, yeah, like, her social media game quite savvy. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but the important thing is that she she was never in the wrong in this in this case. Like, yeah. I don't think she did anything wrong other than question. I mean, no, no, not other than question. Questioning is not wrong, yeah. Yeah. Right. Did exactly. she do anything wrong? No, I don't right. know. I don't think she did anything did wrong. I think no lah. She was just saying things as it is. What? Yeah, like, yeah. This is what happened. Yeah. Mm. Um, let's do something about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, correct, she correct. wasn't flaming MOM or or anything, and she was, she didn't put anyone in a bad light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, exactly. and whatever she said is whatever happened. Yeah. yeah. And it's good that she brought up the the fuck off thing because. That's what really happened. What? I mean, yeah. how can you actually say this to someone? Yeah, I mean, you're in a yeah. service line. Yeah. You yeah. are. You're, she's the one of the ambulance worker, is it? The person or something like that? I, I think that yeah, someone on and the ambulance. Jane Russell herself is a healthcare, is a full time healthcare Exactly. So right? she herself is a frontline worker. Yeah. What the hell? It's, you know, it just so happened that, I mean, you chose the wrong person to, 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 to screw to with her. With. Yeah, exactly, yeah. man. Exactly. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. Because I- if it was anyone else, I don't know whether things would have been done the same. Yeah. You know? If someone said fuck off to you, what would you do? Eh? Like you were asking them a question politely and then they said fuck off. You mean in, in person? No lah, what's that? What's that? Uh? Uh. Oh, block the person. Oh, you block the block person? Uh. Uh-huh. No, no fight. Uh, no Why fight. do you think my Instagram is so clean? <laughs> Whatever hate comments I get, I just block. Oh, really? Uh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what kind of hate comments you get? Uh, tons. Uh. Not tons. <laughs> hey, it's, it's you make fake account. <laughs> you see whether the whatever I say ties in what IP, you say, right? All the IP addresses all the same. <laughs> uh. No, but I'm curious. What kind of hate comments? Uh, not funny la. My mom very big la. I think very handsome la. Oh, what? <laughs> Even to this day. Eh? Yeah. On TikTok is the worst because that I think right that is the new toxic community. Oh, uh, really? On, yeah, which is TikTok. Because any, I mean, whichever social media platform is the same. La. I mean you. You don't put a profile picture. You can say whatever you want. Yeah. But I don't know. Somehow I feel that TikTok people just, they just don't care more. Really? Yeah. yeah. And you have been on every platform. La, right? Yeah. I, I'm on TikTok also. Eh. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah. yeah. And Actually, you spend a lot of time on TikTok now, la, right? Uh, not creating. a lot of time, but I, I do content once in a while. La. I release videos once in a while. Yeah, yeah. But the, the, it, it's very easy to get views there. Yeah. The plays are very easy because it's just swiping, 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 right? Mm. But, uh, and, and the comments are are, are coming in quite yep. easily also, mm. but I feel that most people there are more toxic compared to Instagram or really? Facebook or yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, I thought is it because it's younger kids and then they? Yeah. So so what happened was um I actually posted a TikTok recently right and yeah. then the, I was getting a, a like bunch of hate comments and all that so I went to click in one of the the profile yeah. And it was actually a, a 12-year-old girl. Really? Oh. It was actually a 12, 12-year-old girl doing her own TikToks and all that. And, and she was posting all this nonsense about me on my platform. So I'm like, you know, like, you have to be accountable for what you say. So TikTok has no age no. verification because at least Facebook gives the illusion mm-hmm. that you must be 13 and above. No, or? no, no. There are so many kids on, on, uh-huh. on TikTok. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So th- and, and she's not the only one that... that Posted and it's yeah. not like Nonsense a dummy account where it's just no. like fake pictures. It's she was really doing like dancing videos and like oh, you but know, what, I'm going what, to school now. What can a trophy old say to you? Say to you that make you make you upset? <laughs> uh, hey, you you take drugs, right? Hey, what well, what? Yeah, huh? Yeah, really? Oh, shit. Yeah. So she she was not the only one that that posted, uh, that. So uh. there were like maybe three four other accounts that posted posted the same thing, mm. and then they were also young kids, like twelve year old, thirteen year old. Oh, Boys shit. and girls. Do you reply? No, I block them. Oh, you block yeah. them? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Take away their right to, to view his... Th- I think I, I've, been, I've been so immune to this whole like comments thing. I mean, I, I, I'm not saying that they don't affect me, mm. but they don't affect me as much, much as I when see. I just broke out into the scene. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm like, oh, whatever, like, I just block you. I mean, yeah. I, it takes less clicks for me to block than for you to type that message. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, why not? You won, you won. Yeah. Oh, seriously, TikTok. Is that something that your other friends who do TikTok content also feel? 
uh, I mean, you, not only my friends, but you see most of the, um, the videos on TikTok. If there is, there's always bound to be shit comments. Hmm. Really, no matter yeah. my friends, my accounts, your accounts, uh, people's yeah. And the, the and US the accounts. The account the account name is it normally like actual names or always like no like It's it's like throw gaming away. names, you know. Gaming uh, names. Yeah, I it, think you can tell the age of the account holder because mine is Harish Tilani. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys don't do TikToks, right? Do you? No, no, but but thinking about it, how because like TikTok also it feels like it's its own language, dude. Like, right? It's the new thing. Like yeah. you ha- you have to. Wait, wait but then yeah. so Join I want to ask her huh, because we have in front of us. One of the OGs of YouTube in Singapore. Uh, uh, Remember the one yup and the no more now. The no Prata become, the Prata challenge. Uh, become time. OF only fans. <laughs> OG. No, but you were one of the first to, to do YouTube in Singapore la. So how do you feel about YouTube back then versus what TikTok is now la? It's all about changing and evolving, man. The reason why I don't do YouTube now is because I mean I seldom do YouTube now because I have no. I have no drive to do videos anymore. Mm. As compared to last time. Last time, you can just... I recorded my videos from my MacBook camera. Like, yeah, yeah, me yeah. just sprouting nonsense. Yeah. And it, it, it got to a, a point where I can say whatever I want. And then it's just like funny. You know yeah. what I mean? I can just post whatever I want. But right now, I'm just taking my content and putting it on TikTok. You know what I mean? Like, like evol- No, no, no. Like, like evolving into, oh, into TikTok. See, see. Rather than... You do videos now, right? You have to come up with production quality. Yeah. I cannot just do the same format I did yeah. ten years ago yeah. and putting on YouTube now. Yeah. I cannot just record from my own MacBook and 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 using iMovie to cut and paste and and upload. Mm. You know, you have to show people your game lah on yeah, YouTube, yeah. which I'm like, you know what? I I, I leave it to you to go and do. I I'm damn lazy. For us, I think that new platform has been podcasting lah. Right. right. Sorry. What that, that new platform, mm-hmm. that evolution, has mm-hmm. been podcasting. Like oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. But TikTok, yeah, I, I do agree that TikTok is one of those that if it can leverage or like get more people to uh, like watch our content or engage with us, mm-hmm. then yeah, it is. Yeah, something you should we, uh, put like your podcast, like, your yeah. video podcast on TikTok, like extracts yeah. or something. Yeah, like. exactly. Yeah, yeah. And you can put, uh, I think now even three minute videos on TikTok now. Maybe this since we are recording videos of this, Noah, yeah, you you one. might be like our first. TikTok podcast. You see this why I say I'm always helping you guys. <laughs> mm, mm, helping mm. you guys to start, you know, start shit. Thank you, Lanoa. <laughs> I don't need really no yeah. thank you, I need your stories. Yeah. But so so you you, you <laughs> fuck off lah, okay. Uh. Yeah, you serious question. Uh, you pointed out TikTok is a much younger, almost more toxic audience than YouTube back then, lah, right? Then why mm. then why do you still do it? Lah? Why is it I I do it just to it, it's all about I mean, there is a toxic community. I, I'm not saying that all of the people oh, are toxic. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, every platform that you go to, they are bound to yeah. be toxic yeah, 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 yeah. communities. Right? Correct, correct. So, but right now, the reason why I'm on it is because it's the in thing. Okay, mm. okay. People, clients have to, clients are watching your TikTok videos. The clients yeah. are actually watching what you do on TikTok. Yeah. And, and the content that you make actually, um, like you can actually get work from it. Mm. So, uh, and, and it's a good thing that it's easy to get views and and um, likes and shares and all that. It's easier, sorry, not easy, easier. Mm, yeah. And you collaborate a lot with your friends, like Patient mm. and all them. I mean, it, it, it's just like, oh, you know, you want to do TikTok? Oh, let, you know, let's find what's trending. Let's just put our phone there, record. But well, you never ask us, eh? Interesting, <laughs> eh? No? I generally find people who are on the same funny lave, uh, <laughs> wavelength as me. I see. Yeah, that's good to know, lah. No, I mean, I mean, in due time, it will happen. Oh, okay. um, maybe once we get up to your level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You I guys, see, I, see. I welcome you guys to my course any day. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, sign up now. Well, well, in what's the description the box called? below. What's the course called? <laughs> Sorry. What's the course called? Uh how to be funny? <laughs> By Noah Yap, is it? <laughs> How many days? How many How days? How to actually months? produce <laughs> good content? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <Whoa. laughs> how many? How much time you need? Thirty-five seconds, is it? <laughs> what the cost? Yeah, I mean, you know those all those YouTube ads like, Give me thirty-five uh. seconds, and you will be funny. <laughs> no, I only need. No, for you, it's it's very hard. It's a lifetime. Me at least, yeah. A lifetime. <laughs> yeah. I see. I see. I see. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. So. <laughs> Terrence just pulling us back <laughs> into the conversation. So, interesting, interesting. We're talking about this, lah. Cause, like, you know, you talk about clients and how you're portraying yourself out there. 
you know, now is a very tough time for artists, actors, everything. So what do you, what is in the future for Noah Yap? Like, you know, for us, like we, for us, like just right before this, all this shit hit the fan, we did stand up comedy for the first time. Uh. Mm. And uh, oh we were like, God, yeah, hey, how's it? I wanted to go and watch. Yeah. Uh, but, but, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't. <laughs> I was doing TikToks. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey guy, yeah, please, hey, let's talk about that. How's uh, it? Uh, How's it? I mean, it was a uh, very... I, guys, if I actually went there, right, uh. I would have stood up too and left. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been waiting to say that joke? Yeah. Uh? Since you saw our post. Since it? <laughs> like, you know what? I predict there'll be one day they ask me to come back on the podcast and I will say it. <laughs> no, but the experience was, it, it? was great. Uh. It was eye-opening and quite nerve-wracking, uh, to be honest. So, uh, I mean, now's the, the COVID season, right? So, yeah, how did yeah. it actually happen? Like, Some, um, the, the organizers of the show that Kumar did two, three months ago, they messaged us on Instagram. They're saying mm. they're doing another show and they like our content. Uh, and is it something we are Wow, Singapore really about? nobody else will use it, yeah? Yeah, I guess so, bro. <laughs> I guess yeah, so, I guess so, bro. <laughs> we're, sc- we're scraping the, bar- the bottom of the barrel and it's us. <laughs> You guys are the 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 plankton eaters. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. No, they are the plankton eaters. We are yeah. plankton. We are Just plankton. Floating yeah. around on the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. yeah. So it's COVID season, right? So they asked him to come. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. And then the audience was like, 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 obviously, like split up. Uh, it was a yeah. sold out audience, lah. Of how many people? Hundred. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Ah. But it was sold out. First day was 100 plus. Uh, then second so day was out of the hundred people, how many people were actually there for you? What do you mean for us? Like it was a lineup lah. I don't know who they come for lah. Yeah, Fuck. It was a lineup. It was a lineup. <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay, I'm kidding. Okay, but hey, I'm, I'm really, really proud of you guys. Oh, thanks, man. Thank yeah, thanks, yeah. Although he hasn't watched it yet, lah. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Right. Yeah. Is there a? Is there a like? I like, think it, it, was it recorded? I think yeah, Possibly. I think it was, and and don't know. I think there will be. There might be excerpts and all. But but, but do you yeah, do you see that in your in your close future doing more? Ah, I definitely, I definitely want to. I've I've always wanted to, but I will. Totally admit that it fucking scares the shit out of me, la. Like yeah. stand-up comedy, right? And it's I think totally different it's from totally different. Right. whatever you've done. Yeah, it's and, totally and, different. And we must acknowledge we jumped the queue. Yeah, there are a lot of people in front of us who have paid their dues a lot more, but ours was because of our social media cloud. So I think that's why they reached out to Wait, us. Wait, so yeah. both of you went on stage? Yeah, both of us. We did five minutes. E- we started oh, with shit. a five-minute skit, and then five minutes each individually standing there trying to make people laugh. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Wait, wait, so everything was scripted lah. I mean, the, the jokes that yeah. you guys, yeah. was it, yeah. was any of it like improv like on the spot? No, but you have to like react to the crowd play. You have to react to the crowd a little bit, but yeah. Yeah. I'm not at the level where So I how can... do you react to the bombing? Uh, it was- it To was... the awkward silences? Uh, <laughs> you, ask, you ask that as a joke, but that is totally. <laughs> what? Wow, that hurt though. Right? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. So how is it? How is it? Oh, I, I'm really, really curious. No, no, really. Okay, so yeah. I will. They were really run, run me down. What happened and and, and so, everything? So we, I mean, we practiced for quite a while before that, and no, we even. I mean, maybe even open mic like and stuff. Yeah, there. we no, but even before that, we yeah. you know we wrote our scripts. We would send them to each other and then record ourselves saying it to each other and then oh, and then yeah. just then we're like. Mm, like not this one doesn't work, that one doesn't work, that kind of thing lah. Oh, that's all we knew about uh, how to get feedback lah. Yeah. And then after that, suddenly this opportunity to do an open mic at uh, Ali Fakafas, he was starting an open mic. Yeah. Shout out to him for yeah, giving us a slot. Uh, and then I think you reached out to him to yeah. give us a slot lah. And yeah. then like I said, we jumped the queue. There were people who were waiting to do it lah. Yeah. We jumped the queue and we got to perform it. And uh, that was five minutes each also to an audience of twenty people. Yeah. Uh, who were not paying my, customers? Yeah. Including my wife, your girlfriend. My girlfriend. Yeah. Friends. So it was like a focus group, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly where you can see the faces of the people who are not laughing at your jokes yeah 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 Yeah. so so that one I remember before I was going up I was like fuck I was fucking nervous but then you go up and then part of the open mic that was nice was watching other comics perform mm. right like you get a whole range like you get uh, there was another guy who was doing open mic for the first time as well and then you get people like fucker Faz who's been doing it for like 10 years la, and jinx you and you can really see how they connect with the audience mm. it's quite it's quite a like you just appreciate it a lot it's more. A, it's a, it's a, I would say it's a meditative experience. Like you walk in the green room before they go out, right? Everyone's just sitting there, just like sort of doing their own ritual. Like some of them are writing on the hands, some are writing on the books. Right. Then me and Harish are like, hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Not very sure. What you guys to are do just la. going in to become two jokers. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. In the sense of two like unfunny jokers coming in to, to mess the whole thing up. Yeah. Uh, but then what we realized over time was that the community also. They understand that there are people who are just starting out, and yeah, they yeah, try yeah. to help them right, right, also, right, right. And 
is actually going to more events, meeting more comedians, and then bombing more, do, doing badly yeah. more, that you will become better. I, I, I actually went to Perth uh, before COVID. Yeah. Uh. And uh, I was wait, there wait, alone. Before COVID, as in last year? Uh, 2019. Oh, 2019. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. I went there alone. Uh-huh. And then uh, I, I went to check out like, what's there to do. So uh, wait, there's a stand-up uh, gig yeah, happening yeah. around me. Yeah. And it was open mic. So I went to see. And I sat at the back. Mm. And I mean, out of the five people, right? I yeah. think only like three were not bad, yeah. were quite good. But two of them that performed, they bombed. Yeah, and sitting yeah. there as an audience, right? If the stand up comic bombs, it, you will feel like, yeah. oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's oh. It's a bit of Because he, yeah. he, he tells jokes, right? And then you hear silence, radio silence, guys. Yeah. It was yeah. like, yeah. yeah. And then you're like, oh, no, and, and that how's happened, it gonna? That happened, that happened. Right. Like, for real, like, during the open mic. Okay, can you tell me one of the jokes? Uh, so, okay, the one thing I realized is that when you're starting out, right, it's better to have shorter jokes rather than stories. And now looking back, mine were all... Shorter jokes rather than stories. That means you, get, stories, you right? get a one-line setup and the punchline comes next. And I had very few of that. Mine were like, okay, this happened. You Let know, me I'm, guess what you said. What? I know what Why I know the what chicken cross the road or what, right? To get <laughs> to fact, the other side! No, in fact... <laughs> Let people like... <laughs> no, in, in fact, on hindsight, that may have been better. <laughs> what? No, because the thing is about telling stories, right? You, yeah. you, you, kind no, of, you, you have to be a good storyteller to tell stories. But even then, right? right you have like, to paint a picture. Like, and, like if, if Dave Chappelle were to tell a story, mm-hmm. you know it's going to be good. Right. So you're almost like you're giving, you're building up because yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, correct, correct. If someone doesn't know you, right? It's it's a tall order for them for them to like give you the trust right, and follow right, right. you along okay, as opposed yeah. to like they don't know your name I mean they, they know us because of our YouTube channel and mm-hmm. all but stand-up comedy is totally new to us and just looking at some of the other comics it will literally be like um, yeah just one line and then a punchline mm. like I remember one of my favourite lines from one of the comics was like you know I, I went for a shark diving experience the great white shark came and he turned around and I was offended because my whole life I've been offended by I've been rejected by white people now I'm being offended by white sharks so, you know, just like, pump, pump, pump. And yeah. of course, he delivered it with a lot more panache. La. <laughs> but but yeah. mine was like, okay, right. I moved, I just moved in with my girlfriend. She's Catholic and I am somewhat agnostic. And then there's a punchline that I work towards. But along the way, yeah, then that's where the silence creeps how, in and it ennobles me. How do you la. guys actually like get to like writing jokes and like, yo. Like what was your this, process? This is, this Darren, is, you know. No, I've been, my whole, the last few years, I've already been like collecting like from your experiences like you mm. travel Mm-mm. so I've, I've always had this thing I wanted to make fun about toilets in China and then you know the punchline eventually be oh you know they can build a great wall but they can't do urinal walls well that's mm. the punchline mm. so everything about toilets then you accumulate la, you know about right, urinal right, 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 right. Right. so let's say you want to write about <clears throat> fatherhood or you know like for me now fatherhood is there's a lot of funny moments so if there's something funny happens then I'll just write it down and then slowly think about okay, what can we? I think that yeah. there are a lot of funny moments that happen to us on yeah, day, exactly, you know. Yeah. But it's a matter of how do you actually put it into word. But you just write it down. Yeah. Right. No, I actually have some stuff it. written down, but yeah. I, I don't know how. So you to want to do stand up like, one day? I mean, I mean, I've, so, I've considered so, it lah, but I've la, so should. then 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 mm. then that goes into the art. Uh, and mm. like when you talk to comics, you can tell like the seed of funny ideas. Everybody has them, mm-hmm. but how you squeeze out the funny how you do the setup how you do the punchline that is the art yeah. mm-hmm. and like watching people who do it well right is really fucking mind blowing yeah. but it's nerve wracking when you see them do it before you and then you have to go up mm-hmm. right yeah and even like the same jokes you tell right can work differently across the three nights it can yeah. be maybe the demographic of the crowd is different maybe the way you you approach it is different the, maybe the, your your shiftiness your nervousness maybe walking everything matters and mm-hmm. it was a very eye opening experience lah because if you are if you if you come on stage as a very like nervous mm. like a, a nervous wreck, but people sometimes will yeah exactly that you, the, it, right? that you can they unless can that sense. is your act yeah, yeah. yeah exactly so so the one thing I realized from my open mic to the performance the open mic right I went there I said exactly what I wanted to say the way I wanted you, to say you, it you did it as a vlog essentially exactly you did it as a vlog I did it as a vlog I did it as an actor. Yeah. Like, I right. went on stage and I said everything I wanted to like say. A, like a piece of theatre. Yeah. Yes, right. yes, monologue. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, right. I, think, I think I got two laughs in five yeah. minutes. And two laughs as in two people laughed? No, no, like two. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the rest were like, and this was already a supportive crowd at, at an open mic. Right, right, yeah. right. Then after that, just watching the other comics and, yeah, there's something about 
you know, taking your time, pausing, mm. you know, letting letting fe- people feel that you're talking to them as opposed to talking to like a camera. And right. my open mic was like that. And even like just forgetting your lines and I say, hey, mm. sorry, let me check and we take out. That's okay. And in fact, that is embraced because it makes you feel more authentic. Yeah. So oh, like... For an open mic, is it? Or for... Oh, actually, for a performance, for performance also, also, no? Also it's surprising. Can. Yeah. yeah. So ah, some of them I thought that was like one of the like... Not big no no's like, yeah. right? No no no. But that's the thing. So one of the better, one of the uh, the, the the more experienced guys, <laughs> he literally has always a line. Oh, let me take out my book and uh, you know, uh, yeah, and find out what works for your Singaporeans. Uh, that kind of thing, lah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so so it's a, it's it's, it's part of an act, but it's also right. not an act. It makes you feel like oh, this guy is real. He forgets his lines or so. Yeah, you know? but also I think then you think about the spectrum, like If Chris Rock was doing his special and he did that, people would be like, dude, what? you're Chris Strong and you forget your stuff because that is like a whole other expectation. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's all about what people expect of you and what you deliver. Yeah. Right. That 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 was the biggest thing. So, so if you go up there as an unknown, maybe being a bit nervous kind of gets the crowd in your team. Mm-hmm. If you're yeah. Chris Rock, people are already on your team and if you fuck up, that's when people are like, yo, what's up? You really, you start off with trust. Yeah. Yeah, so it was, it's like fucking like a study of human behavior, bro. And you perform yeah. okay. So for three nights, we perform the same, essentially the yeah. same act for three nights. But every night feels different. Like yeah. every night, the crowd feels different. Your performance, your energy feels different. So even the order in which right. you come out also <laughs> feels different. Like yeah. It makes things so did different. the third night feel the best? No, no. mine was second first. night. No, second right. night crowd was the best because they reacted right. the best to everyone. But for for me, my performance third night was the best. Yeah, yeah. mine second night. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I I imagine. It to be like over time, like, right? Yeah, yeah like over time, you get used to the feeling. That's and what I thought. Are, like more comfortable on stage. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Uh, yeah. But but I think it could go either way, like, Cause I remember coming down the third night, I I ran into Sharul, uh, Rishi's wife, mm-hmm. who's also a stand-up comedian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, she was having a performance, and she asked me, "Oh, so how was your third night?" I was like, "I don't know. First night didn't go too well. Second night went well, and then before I could finish, she said, third night you fucked up, right?'" I was like, "Yeah, that's why I felt." She said, "Don't worry, it happens." Your first night bad, second night you do, you become, you think you're king of the world and then third <laughs> night you, you don't. And I was like, yeah, fuck, I, I think I felt that. Because after second night, right, I was like, you know what? Maybe wow, I can fuck, do this. Nah, yeah, maybe yeah, maybe yeah. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, and then third night, the, I could feel the sweat come out like, when the first few jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for me, third night, I was just like, you know, fuck it already. Like, anyway, today, after today, it's going to be phase two heightened alert. No one's, everyone does, just wants a good time and go home. So yeah. just, just do whatever. La. So I was very relaxed on the third night. I yeah. think you have to also find your style and your exactly, music, correct, exactly, you know, correct. like how you actually tell jokes. Yeah, to the and audience, and like the yeah. open mic is yeah. actually such a big part of the process. That's why if you read any comic, like the legendary comics who have come out from the US, mm. they can like when they do open mic workshopping in New York or something, they can do ten shows a night. No? Mm. They just right, bounce work, from work, open work, mic work, to work, open work. mic to open mic, and they just that's actually really really good practice. It's eh? fucking it good practice. Good. And like yeah. I was talking to Faz because I was on a shoot with him the following week. He said he he had, he's now comfortable enough where he loves the workshopping process. He loves going up there with untested material and figuring out what works. So mm. to him, he enjoys that. And that means you you must be confident enough to not get a laugh. Yeah. Right. And I think Rishi also had this one thing he messaged us. He said, a great comedian should never be afraid of silence. Of course, you can look, look at it this another way. Like and When I mentioned it to some of the other comics, they're like, no, dude, you should be afraid of the silence. It means people are not laughing. <laughs> but what Rishi meant was that, yeah, like, just because they don't laugh doesn't mean... It's part of the process. Yeah. 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 Part of them not laughing makes you realize, okay, this is not tight enough, this is not funny enough, maybe take it out. And right. you just build. Yeah. So it's yeah. really yeah. like, oh, it was it's a it's a very interesting experience. So do, you, but, do you have to sorry, do you have to segue a lot? Like Actually no, no. Some of the yeah. people they just jump and sometimes that is the comedy. Yeah. You talk about snails and then boom, you go to Mars yeah. or just sometimes the the mm. the crossover can be where the comedy comes from, right, 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 right. Yeah. So it's like when you're writing a TV or movie script or what. There's this whole theme you must stick to, and all mm. that. Whereas for, for I think just for stand up, I felt like when you try too hard to stick to a theme, it can mm. feel very forced, uh, right? Yeah, you know? right. right. Uh, but actually, we are talking about this primarily because we're talking about the future of for for Noah or so, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we asked yeah. you the question we and then you we question. became us. It suddenly become about us. Yeah, uh-huh. so I think we are done for today. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? Where's the That's disconnect? The <laughs> Put a plug right now. <laughs> so, but yeah, what, what is in the immediate future assuming that COVID gets better and everything? Uh, no, to be honest, right, I would really, really love to try stand-up. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I want to see how it goes. Um, yeah. 
that's why I, I I'm so curious to like as as to how you guys write your stuff like mm, yeah because like what I say you know like we have so many funny things that happen to yeah. us you know oh, yeah. but how do we actually put it into words how do we actually mm. try to make people laugh with yeah. with that and I think that anyone in performing or content or media should try it because mm. that's the core of making people laugh right? as a as a as an MC myself I go on stage I am not afraid of going on stage. Because I know I have a rundown to, yeah, to yeah, stick to. Yeah. You know, 7, 7 p.m. introduce this act. 7 30 is this. Blah, blah, blah. But in between, I have to sometimes drag it out. Right? And that yeah. also scares me a bit because I have to find things to talk and uh, interact with the audience. But yeah. for stand up, it's a completely oh, different yeah, yeah. world. Yeah. You know, I, I may be confident on stage doing hosting, but yeah. I may not have that same amount of confidence when I go and do stand up. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot more theatre involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, so, the good thing is the scene, there is a lot of potential. Unfortunately, yeah. COVID and the pandemic has put a big dent in the momentum. Right. Yeah. But I think, yeah, it's just nice to see people doing it mm. and wanting to carry on doing it, not just thinking, okay, this is just a hobby kind of thing. People are really pursuing comedy. La. Singapore doesn't really have stand-up um, like professionals. Eh? No, 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 no professionals. Like, uh, like comedy clubs. You know? Comedy clubs. Got, got. Had, had. Yeah, there was the Mary Lion. There was comedy masala. Uh, but a lot of them shut down. Yeah, since up till pre COVID. pre COVID yeah. So that was a sad thing. La. That was a sad thing. Right, right, right. right so yeah. it was just coming back. In fact, first was doing it, one mm-hmm. himself, and then Rishi got the Rishi Report, which was a monthly show he was doing. Um, yeah, but everything has shut down since then. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and doing yeah. stand-up comedy over like online or Zoom is a very different thing. Uh. Right. Uh, right. Then it becomes a vlog. Definitely. Uh. Then it right. becomes right. a vlog. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. but b- then besides trying stand-up, like uh, how was how about shows or anything else? Uh, uh you you, so did, you did a movie last year, right? Didn't you? I did a movie in 2019. Oh, 2019. Okay. Yeah, a Chinese movie. Also. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not released yet. No, like, right? no. It's supposed to be out uh, last year, I think. But yeah. I think because of COVID, then they pushed back. And until now, it has not been released. But uh, until now, I haven't really heard mm. uh, of the show coming out. Um, yeah, so it's a Chinese movie. It's called The Fake Keepers. Yeah. Uh, and it's about five, um, five like students. Sorry, four students. And um, they go out of their way to... Uh, change their fate. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they find they manage to find like stones, mm. um, and towards the end of the movie, it's like oh something bad is happening. So do they really do they keep the stones and not uh, improve their fate, but not save the world, uh-huh. or do they come forego together. their stones, come together? This is like Captain Planet, oh. something like that. <laughs> yeah, some, uh, oh, recently there's this show uh, in China called China China Captain, uh, Captain uh, China, 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 China. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I actually watched it. Ah, five minutes. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Oh, it's on YouTube. And guys, if you thought my green screen was bad, you should check out this. <laughs> hey, nobody thinks your green screen is bad, lah. Because I haven't done any green screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad, guys. Really, like TikTok green screen like that, la. Worse, worse. Hey, TikTok green screen is good, lah. What are you talking oh, about? Really, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so wow. bad. Wow. Yeah. Cool, cool. So you have no idea when that movie is coming out, unfortunately. No, no, no. I, I, no, uh, I have no idea. But for now, doing kin. Oh, yes. Kino Channel 5 I see you, you yeah. see your channel um, five. Just hoping for COVID to die down Then uh, we can all travel again yeah. hey, actually, actually you know what We should go on a trip together But now we're at Cruise uh? Cruise yeah sure Actually you've been on Cruise been A couple cruise. of times yeah, right? I, yeah. went, I went last year yeah. I went oh. I went Cruise last year When uh, Cruise was just announced yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah And there was nobody on a Cruise uh, okay, It was okay. empty Oh really yeah. But and the slides the are that there Empty still, still can use uh. Yeah still can use. Oh, It was okay. empty Wow. Yeah, but now because Charlie just went yeah. to cruise, and Charlie Lim, uh. Charlie Go lah, Charlie Go, Charlie Go, Charlie Go, Charlie Go. Charlie Lim's the singer, is it? <laughs> yeah. Ah, Charlie yeah. Go, Charlie Go. Yeah, so he went to cruise, um, and he told me that it was packed. Oh really? Like packed. full, like he can't full really packed. get because now to people anywhere. nowhere else to go, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I, I come myself lucky for actually being. Yeah. The one of the we go glamping, uh. glamping. So it's just me, you, and the forest. <laughs> Actually, we are glamping right now. I don't now. put myself yeah. in compromising situations. We are, we are glamping right now. We are glamping right now. <laughs> glamping right I now. I think every time we go and shoot, you know, it's a glamp. Uh. Yeah, it's a glamp. it's a glamp. It's a glamp. It's very glamorous. Oh, but speaking of which, there's also we also have a cameo in the Me Watch uh, show, right? The Amazing Showman. The dancing scene. No, 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 no. We were not in it. Oh, we're not oh, in yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we did not appear in Oh, we did not appear in the as final in, As in, I, I... Oh, you I took us out. Took us, uh. I took it Why, out. Why, ah? 
I mean, if too self indulgent. Uh. No, not self indulgent, but it just didn't suit the, oh. the feel of the scene. Oh. And everything. I I have to yeah. say my my cup throwing skills are amazing. Yeah, yeah. To shout out to Jordan. Yeah. To Jordan <laughs> oh, that that is in like, that yeah, is There's in. one particular scene where Noah like you no, know, this without any prompting, without any practice, he. He just drinks from a cup and then throws it behind him and it lands on Jordan's head like <laughs> just like that. So the sound was edited. Yeah, and no, the sound was not was edited. That, it was, that was the real sound captured. <laughs> everyone, like, funny, yeah. everyone wanted to laugh, but we all stopped. We resisted, <laughs> and then let the shot continue until the end. Wow, it was a magic moment. Because when I threw, I didn't even know I, uh, I. Yeah. Hit his head And, he, uh, see, and right? he continued Playing his character <laughs> yeah, <so> just, just <laughs> shocked. But he didn't say anything That's why I say Shout out to Jordan like, Jordan, yeah, our, Jordan He was our producer yeah. For Life Exchange And yeah. she's a terrorist yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, Gem oh, of a guy right. Yeah But, but, yeah. but it, actually um, Speaking of that Cameos Actually I also had a cameo In Noah Yap's uh, Music video I remember during COVID You did a music video Right And then my dog Yes Had a cameo inside his yes, video Yes, la. that's right Yeah, actually So what, what's the You were supposed to be in it Then Then, then you, too late, you, too late. you You uh, Told that la. Oh, something about head, COVID Or something la, Right, I couldn't come down Or something I don't know what la, But you rejected me la. I, I think, always yeah. remember that <laughs> Yeah, yeah Wait, so is there a music career In the works for Noah Yap or oh, def- Definitely not <laughs> 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 After COVID Anthem was released I Thought I could be a rapper End up, it's a rap. <laughs> so, so you, how, yeah, how did the whole thing come about? Actually, no, like, as in, I uh, once in a while I release like songs. Yeah. About, uh-huh. Like, um, I did Kiasu in 2015. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And right now it's COVID anthem yeah. about like uh, current situations, current affairs. Yeah. And back then, COVID was the in thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So why not do an anthem about it? I see. And, you know, I see. I see. Yeah, see. It's more of a safety like awareness. Like Portugal like that like You were Something the Portugal like of 2020. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. End up go Lin Chukang and bury myself. <laughs> bury the MD also. But well yeah, I mean that that's so there's there's basically a lot of content that you guys listening can can watch over the next few days, mm-hmm. next few weeks. Everything right? that we have said now is out. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, everything. Correct. Everything that we have said now is out. Everything. And I mean there's hopefully it get there's more that those stories develop into we are pitching a bunch of other stuff, so Noah. Yes, I was about to ask you guys, what is next for MOF? Um, I mean, we are... What is next for MOF and Noah Yap? MOF and Noah Yap. <laughs> yeah. well, Noah Yap I have to secure sure, my uh. next, next gig first. <laughs> I'll ask you now I on mean, live podcast. I mean, MOF right now, we are developing a few stories that uh, we are getting ready to pitch. I don't care about MOF. Ah. I care about what is happening next for MOF and so Noah before, Yap. Before I can tell you what's next for Noah Yap, we have to come up with a story right first. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean this podcast with, with you will be coming out okay. uh, There's a few stories we are developing uh, A lot more stuff in the audio space That we are trying to do like, Because audio is, is, is the big thing man MOF has always been, been known to Break barriers and do something out of the ordinary yeah. Break barriers so, Break yeah. barriers uh. hmm? Really yeah? Wow. yeah It's cool man That's yeah. cool I mean yeah, I mean the shows we are pitching all hopefully quite interesting. Uh, yeah, we just want to bring those stories to life. I think a few like a few feature film concepts also. Yeah, no, mm. we did, we did. Yeah. Uh, oh, we it'd be dope if you guys could write a write a and feature produce film. Yeah. Write a feature film. We, yeah, we yeah. did a Vasantam pilot for. Yeah, how was it? Yeah. Hey, I saw the trailer. It was it was actually yeah, yeah, quite yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope, yeah. Uh, my friend is in it. Uh, James. Oh, James Kumar. No, James, James Kumar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, we are super happy with that. Uh, hopefully, that gets turned into a full series as well. Mm. So, yeah. So, mm. a lot of things on on the table that could materialize, but we're also working on other stuff that we are getting pitched ready. Yeah. Yeah. But don't Future worry, film. you're always in our you're always in our minds. Huh? Yeah. Maybe the first person you think of. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. If it's some movie about I some just want to come to a day where I can re- reject you guys, but I, I unfortunately That day can't hasn't come it. yet, uh, that no, day hasn't come no, yet. No, I'll let you guys know when it when it comes. <laughs> I think the day that you reject us, the day we know okay, we have to call it Rams. <laughs> Noah <laughs> Yap rejected <laughs> us. Of all people. Fuck, of Noah all Yap. People. <laughs> yeah. This guy who is willing to do anything, <laughs> reject us. Reject us. I'm like, Terrence, yo. <laughs> we are doing we something did, wrong here. Yeah. Have a talk Let's just Terrence. scrape MWF and do stand out. <laughs> uh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I mean, that's, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot to, to watch yeah. this weekend, these next few days. Maybe now it's time to, to think about our shock things. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's Do you remember time. the drill or not? No, oh, the one shock yeah. thing. One shock thing, yeah. yeah. That make you happy. Yeah, yeah the one yeah. shock thing that, that you can share with our oh. audience. Oh, okay. You have something already, no, I don't. Okay, okay then, then we can give you uh, we can give you a bit of a uh, a breathing room. Mm-hmm. Uh, Terence, do you have something? 
Uh, oh, not, should not should yet. I? Yeah, you can go okay. ahead first. Yeah. So so mine. Uh, I might sound like a broken record, but I think I mentioned in in different contexts. Two people who blew up online during the pandemic. One is this guy called Mark Rebier, mm. who is this uh, guy who has been streaming from his bedroom, doing a looping. So he'll he'll lay down a beat, he'll sing over it, and he engages with fans. He does live streams, and he's fucking talented. And then there's Harry Mack, who is a freestyle rapper who's fucking amazing, lah. Right? He's been doing rounds on Omegle, taking fan requests and turning them into insane freestyle raps. And just last week, they did a live stream together where Mark Rebier laid down the beats. They were in Mark Rebier's apartment in New York and Harry Mack rapped over it. Lah. And it's mind-blowing. And it's so cool because you can see the dynamic of these two extremely creative people who I think are meeting for the first time. The first, first 10 minutes, they're kind of getting a feel for each other's musical tendencies and all. And it's almost like a first date. But by the 20, 30 minute mark, it's just unbelievable how talented they are. Lah. And it's, it's fucking amazing. Lah. It's, it's, really, it's like one and a half hour live stream. But it's on YouTube. You can watch it, and it's this a different one shot thing from the last one. Yeah, the last time was also Mark Rebier, but uh, that was with Wayne Brady. I see. I yeah, see. I'm. I'm. Wayne I'm, Brady. Yeah, Wayne yeah. Brady. The whose line is the anyway guy, mm, right? Uh, yeah, so, yeah. so that's why I say I sound like a broken record. But this guy, yeah. I, I think the the one with Harry Mack right now, it's just like I feel very inspired creatively from watching that because mm, I look at mm. them. I'm like, if they can do this, right? Mm. Like that, yeah. That I I got I got to do better, like I got to do more more stuff. Just force myself because they 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 keep talking about the beauty of improv, where you are forced to dig in and just say mm-hmm. what's at the top of your head. And I think sometimes creatively, when people think too much about something, it kind of you self censor, you water down. And just hearing them, yeah, like basically with improv, like this podcast, lah. We didn't mm. prepare anything beforehand, and there's a something very cathartic and like liberating by not preparing anything and mm. you're just going with the flow and to watch them ooh fucking mind blowing yeah amazing I've seen some of um, <clears throat> Harry Mack um, yeah, yeah. his stuff is very very good yeah and mm. I think over the past year and a half he has gotten so much better mm. like it's insane it blows my mind uh. yeah mm. I think the first video I watched of him was the he uh, people are queuing up yeah lining up so for dude, something and then he just walked down the he's the next level now like, oh. yeah. Yeah. that was yeah, good yeah, yeah. but now that's at Venice insane. Beach is it? yeah, 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 yeah. he's always at Venice Beach yeah. Yeah. yeah awesome cool so, cool. so yeah Terrence uh, my one short thing is uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson was on Joe Rogan's podcast just Ooh. a couple of days ago uh. every time you know Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson yes 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 yeah, yeah, the astrophysicist mm. who and I mean he's an entertainer as well like, he, like, he hosts shows and stuff like that uh, every time he goes on Joe Rogan's podcast, it's uh, very interesting because like, they talk a lot about science and everything. And it's been a while since he's been on a podcast. So uh, I've been, I'm only a little bit into it, but um, I think they're going to cover things like is, you know, how, how COVID has been for the US and everything like that. And uh, it's always very interesting to hear Neil deGrasse Tyson's take on a lot of these things. Uh, that, I think that the last time he was on, I think it was you who told me there was some tension. There was a lot of tension moments. and there was a lot of talking over Joe Rogan. And then now, but now Joe Rogan has moved to Austin, Texas. Yeah, and it's yeah, a different yeah. environment. And Neil deGrasse Tyson had a sex. He had a sex. Uh, he had a Me Too moment also. What? Oh yeah. Someone accused him of. Uh, For real? Yeah, his yeah, ex yeah, research yeah. assistants or something accused him of touching them inappropriately at party yeah. or something. Oh sh. But 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 um, I think in the end he was investigated by his network. What? But he said you know it was okay. Whatever la, right. Yeah. Mm. So so he's still he's not cancelled So. Right, 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 right. But I, I guess everyone in some way has changed since the last time they all talked lah. I mean, we all, the last time we all sat like that was pre COVID, pre, you know, hook liquidating and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Life hey, has changed. Where can I watch it? Uh? Nowhere. Yeah, nowhere. Right now, right it's, now nowhere. it's locked because of the liquidation process. La. Yeah. She's a terrorist, it's not available. But you guys can't put it on your platform. No. Nope. Because you guys don't have the rights to it. No. Nope. Yeah. And when a liquidation happens, everything is literally frozen. La. So it's yeah. heartbreaking, but. Fuck it lah. We have to. That's why. That's why we just we are focusing on our time on other projects lah. No, that's why. That's why actually to me, like just releasing these two projects, Life Exchange and um, the amazing, amazing movie. showman is a very like we work so long. I feel like we work so many times so long already, but we actually never really had anything like uh, on the platform and free for everyone to view already. You know, like like that's true, like uh. she's a terrorist was the was the the one lah. But it got taken down like within a month of right, 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 right. Yeah. But now finally, these two projects that we've done with Noah are there for the world to see and everything. Uh. 
That's how long it's been building up, you know, like two, three years. Suddenly tomorrow, Audible announces liquidation. <laughs> <laughs> then we're like, oh, fuck. We watch, we watch it down. Something to do with your, yeah, I tell you. We watch down, yeah. We watch gonna hack or something. <laughs> Noah Yap X M O F. No, we watch gonna hack, but only our show taken down. <laughs> Somebody go in. Everyone else's show is still there. Yeah. But you go to Nas or Halsey, it's yeah. gone. Gone. Yeah, it's like the universe oh is like when God. these three fuckers come together, uh, yeah. it cannot. It only last one they month. They produce uh. something great, yeah. but it's short lived. Yeah. <laughs> That's life. That's life. That is life, man. That it's is great, life. but it's short lived. Yeah, what a poetic life. way to come to your one, one shot thing. thing. Uh, my one shot thing is that I've been eating the s- from the same store for about uh, three months. Mm. Eating what? Almost every day. The same store? Yeah. Eating what? Uh, laksa. Lunch and dinner. <laughs> uh, breakfast. <laughs> breakfast? Yeah. And and what is that store? Uh, it's near my house. But are you are you going to give the name or are you just going to uh, be talking about it but you don't want to share because it's called people... <laughs> no, of course it's near no, no, house. It's called, it's called Hub Hub. Hub Hub. Yeah, they have... Okay, this is not sponsored, okay? They have yeah. not sponsored me to say this, okay? and But they sponsored me food before. Yeah. So they sponsored me food during COVID and then I was like, shit, this is damn good. Uh. I, then I was like, Hup. I've H U P H U P. Yeah. Uh. And you've eaten every day. Almost every past single day. Three months. But, oh, seven days in a week. I've eaten it about five times. Wow. Oh, yeah. shit. So they, okay, so my body clock is like the other way around. Uh. So I sleep at like 7 a.m. Uh-huh. And then, so they open on grab food at 6 a.m. Uh. So I will camp until 6 a.m. Once they open on grab food, I order. Uh. So almost every day, eat the same thing. And I never get sick of it. It's damn good. So you eat the same thing, then you go to sleep. Yes. Well, what a healthy lifestyle are you leading? I know, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, you guys should try it. Uh, Opens from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Hop, hop, like so. Yes, closes on Tuesdays. And they deliver. Well, my, why do I know so much? Yeah, they deliver. <laughs> so, so during, yes, but, they deliver. But during this phase two, what happened to them? They're just delivering. La. Yeah, no, they're still oh, open, okay. but they're just. Hop, hop. Uh. Yeah. And you support they them. They have la, yeah. me. Wow, I'm talking about so much. Eh. They have mee siam, they have law mee, they have laksa. Mm. Okay. And laksa is the Best I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In my life. So every day six AM is the highlight of your day, is it? <laughs> yeah, I look I look forward to it quite often. <laughs> so when I'm not at home, I would just go home just to eat. What? Yeah, really? Wow. Yeah, no lah. No, 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 but it, it is that good. It's that good, yeah, really. Hop, hop, laksa. Better okay. than you know, like katam laksa yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, that try cool. It. That's cool. I think That's he cool. no one might have accidentally doxed himself or so. Like. Guys, yeah. I I I have something called an addictive personality. Uh, uh. So when I like something, right, I will eat every day until I'm sick of it. I That's why I discovered this one time very near my house. Uh. I ate the same thing every day for 25 days straight. Yeah. Really? Eh? 25 days eh? Wow. Straight. Every day for lunch. <laughs> I would drive there and eat. Uh, and then you got sick of it. Yes, then I got sick of it. Then I never touch it again. I see. Yeah. Is that relationship advice you give to people or so like if you really like like something? <laughs> You gotta go at it every day. Yes. Until you're sick of it. No, no, no. You can. You don't get. You cannot get sick of it. So all you're saying is there will be one day where you get sick of us, like, and you'll reject us. <laughs> when that day comes, I'll let you guys know. Again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what a what a apt way to bring an end to this episode. <laughs> Talking about the day Noah Yap yeah. is going to reject our offers of collaborating creatively. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But where can we find you on Instagram? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, at only Noah. Only Noah. Only Noah. Okay. Oh, you managed to secure the TikTok handle. Yes. The same, uh, yes. 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 So how? Like, I mean, only Noah. It's just so apt with only fans, only Noah, and all. <laughs> exactly. So right. I started only fans as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, you know, I actually thought of starting my uh, only fans. Do do it, man. No, for my dog. Oh. I post like, his because he's always in in weird positions. Uh. Like naked and everything, lah. Yeah, obviously yeah, he's naked, lah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't clove him, right? <laughs> Can you show oh, it to the sexy, camera? Sexy, sexy. Yeah, yeah. Cute, 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 cute. Can't see lah. Focus it. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, okay, yeah. it's okay. It's auto okay, focus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's just like singing like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I see it. Okay. That's, that's, that's great. Now you're one of those dog owners like, just showing p- pictures of your dog to Only other friends. people. Yeah. Yeah. What a nice... nice. Before this, I was, before Truffles, I already have, 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 have my dog owner, what? Yeah, yeah la, okay la. Yeah, of, of two dogs. Okay. Sitting from you. Okay, right? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. We have two, dog, oh, yes. two dog lovers and one yeah. dog hater here. Eh, hey, not dog hater. But yeah. I'm, I, I, you I'm hate like, dogs? No, la. I don't. Yeah, yeah. La. Not a fan, oh. not a fan. Eh, hey, this guy, any help? <laughs> You're not a fan of dogs? I like dogs. I like dogs. 
Yeah. Every time you come on our podcast, must fight, ah. Uh. Like caveat, like. Yeah. But, I like, but I like. okay, so only Noah, and then your shows that are out now are Life Exchange, which That's is right on Audible. On Audible, um, and also the Amazing Showman on Rewatch. Mm. Both uh, presentations by Ministry of Funny, starring mm. Noah. Yeah. And if yeah. you guys watch it enough times and give enough reviews, we will make a season two of uh, the Amazing Showman and get a full series on Audible. Fuck yeah, yeah. Noah! Awesome. That's right. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today, Noah. <laughs> Always good to have you. Again. Always yeah. good to have you. All right. And to everyone listening, talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.